OK, so uh, I'm facing a tough mission to squeeze my uh, general uh, 30 minutes presentation about hearing health and hearables into five minutes talk, but let me try. So first few words about our company, Alango Technologies. We'll be we've been developing digital sound uh, processing technologies for 15 years. We are 35 people in two locations, Haifa, Israel, and St. Petersburg, Russia. We have uh, 35 people in these two locations. We've sold over 40 million product licensing so far. It's number growing fast. And our main areas are automotive, mobile, accessories, and for the, fa uh, for the last four years, uh, hearing enhancement. So now I will ask you one billion euro question. Which wearable is the most uh, needed device? Is it smartwatch, smart glasses, smart clothes, fitness tracker, no, none of those. It's a hearing aid. And here is some hearing loss facts. It's estimated that about 1.2 billion people worldwide have hearing loss. 375 million people have disabling hearing loss. The good news is that 95% of them can be helped by hearing aids. And the bad news is that only less than 5% worldwide use hearing aids. So we have about one billion of potential users, which other market can, or which other industry can boast such a big number. So what, uh, why does it happen? Well, we'll do some analysis. First, extremely high cost. A pair of hearing aids cost uh, between $2,000 and $8,000. Social stigma. People afraid of uh, wearing uh, hearing aids because they may be considered sick or handicapped. Limited functionality. Hearing aids are designed for sound, uh, for voice amplification only. And the poor performance. Satisfaction is not guaranteed at all. So can we do something better than that? Yes, we think yes. Hearables can be a disruptive solution for hearing aids, for hearing health. So what are hearables? Hearables are wearable electronic audio devices with all the components present in hearing aids and more. Better microphones, better speakers, more powerful processors, Bluetooth connectivity, rechargeable batteries, motion sensors, heart rate sensors, and more. So hearing enhancement in hearables is a software only addition with more powerful DSP delivering a better performance with Bluetooth connectivity enabling personalization and control with a smartphone. And overall, hearables can be a solution to more than one billion hearing impaired people worldwide. So here is some table comparing the two devices. So personal hearing amplification is present in both. Now the question, uh, the, the big difference is the appearance. So do you want it to be as invisible as possible, or you want it to be fashionable and uh, stylish. So, uh, and it, you can compare it with uh, wearing glasses or contact lenses. And by the way, most people prefer glasses. So Bluetooth headset uh, functionality, smartphone control application, rechargeable batteries are default options in hearables, and they present only high-end, most expensive hearing aids. Full music frequency range, personalization by user, wireless software upgrade are uh, exclusive for uh, hearables. And affordability is a matter of, uh, it's a personal matter, but an average hearables cost about 10 times less than hearing aids. So what do we, Alan do, and why am I here? It's first because we believe that hearables can help to augment and improve our hearing even beyond normal. We developed software enabling sound personalization and hearing enhancement in hearables. And we produce our own wear and heal line of concert products. And I'm actually wearing now one of them and that I would like to uh, introduce to you here. Now, there's a hearing solution so advanced, yet so simple, it will enhance everybody's lives. It's called Be Here, a fashionable wireless Bluetooth headset that looks just like a regular headset, but can function as a truly personal all-around hearing amplifier that can be customized using a simple app. Be Here amplifies the sound and supports real-time noise reduction where needed. Help the people closest to you stay connected with Be Here.
That's it. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Questions from the audience, please. Well, in the meantime, the people get a little bit more warm. I have one question for you, Alexander. So we were talking backstage about what are the constraints about the herbals. And we were talking about it will take some time. So how long do you think it will take? Oh, it will take some time because this is a new concept, actually. Hearing enhancement in herbals is a new concept. And if you ask a, a person with hearing loss what is a possible solution for uh, uh, your problem, and the answer will be hearing aids. Nobody will ask, nobody except maybe some IT guys like us will answer uh, the, the hearables. So the market is not completely ready yet, but it's a turning point in today. With the changes in the legislation in the US, for example, you know that will be soon the all the counter hearing aid uh, hearing, uh, category, which will ease the penetration of these devices. And also with the changes with the uh, components, the acoustic components, the quality is growing, and the uh, changes in semiconductor industry with the chips that uh, consumer electronic uh, 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 chips that are uh, getting with, uh, uh, less and less power, with less and less power consumption. So it's a tuning point today, and but I believe we will come to a solution in about uh, uh, the, 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 the real alternative to hearing aids like in uh, two, three years from now. But the first products are already available, and not only from our companies. There are some earbuds with uh, this uh, a, a, a augmented functionality as well. Okay, we have one question from the audience. Hi. Um, you mentioned uh, the popularity of glasses versus contact lenses, and I was just reflecting on why that might be, and I guess um, glasses manufacturers have partnered with big fashion brands and sports brands um, over the years to make their products more trendy, and I just wondered if you'd considered those types of partnerships for some of these products. Uh, definitely. Uh, as a distribution channels, uh, optical shops, for example, may be a perfect match because people are, you know, losing their sight uh, together with with hearing often. So it's it's a good match in the terms of the distribution of this product. Technology-wise, uh, combining like you know, hearing there are some hearing glasses product at least for a number of years. It's not going to have. It's not going to be. It's a niche market, so it's not going to be widespread. But as a distribution channel, yes, it may be a perfect match. Great. Thank you very much, Alexander.